Hey guys, welcome to Coding Simplified and today we'll see a new problem in doubly linked list where our aim is to delete a particular node in list. So there can be several cases in doubly linked list. So first case is that when you don't have any list and you are trying to delete a node. So in this case, you will simply return null, right? So uh, the case can be like this. So I have this list and before even creating the list, I have had null and I am trying to delete a node 37, right? So in this case, basically I don't have any list. So I will check that if had equals to null, that in this case return had means return null basically you can say, right? So this is the first case. Now there can be a case when we have the, uh, when you are deleting the first node, right? So basically we are deleting this 12. So in this case, what we will do, we will check because our, because the first node, the previous or first node is always null in the double link list, right? So if that is the case and we are deleting the first node, means the 12, in this case, what you do, you do the next of previous should be null, right? Basically then the previous of 99, which is pointing to 12. So it should point to null now, right? But if there is no, if there is single node, right if there is single node in linked list in this case we need not to do because if there is no other nodes it means we need not to do this head of next or previous right and then we'll simply return head of next because that is your uh, because you are deleting this node so now that is your head node so for the second condition that's what we are doing that if head of data equals to data is means your data which you are trying to delete so basically we always pass the data which you want to delete and we always pass the linked list right and our function is delete node so we are checking that if our head of data equals to data then what we do we check that if head of next is not null then head of next to previous is null and then return head of next right so this will make sure that your first head of data head of previous is null and you are returning the head of next because your first data is deleted. Now let's come to here for other case, cases. So now let's say you want to delete the 37. So in this case, uh, first your aim is to reach till this node. And once you have reached till this node 37, now your aim is to change the pointers to change the linking. It means this 99 earlier 99 was pointing to 37 so now 99 will point to 5 and the 5 previous will point to 99 right so this is what our expectation is that will remove this so removing means will change the linkings so 99 will point to here 5 will point to here right okay so for that what we are doing we are first uh, we are first taking a te temporary variable node into head so now we are checking that while node is not null and if node of data equals to data means if our data matches to node of data break it else trade the loop by doing node equals to node of next means this will make sure that you are tra traversing the each node right and whenever you are getting your data equals then break it so now it checks that if node equals to null, if node equals to null, it means that your data doesn't exist in the list, right? So we are checking if node equals to null, then element doesn't exist in list. Now, if it exists, if it exists, then simply you can do if node of next is not null. This is basically for the last node. If you are, if you want to delete the last node of the double linked list, so. If it is not, then do the node of next node previous equals to node of previous. So basically, uh, we are doing this one that change the previous of this one to this one else node of previous dot next equal to node of next. So by doing this condition, we are changing the linkings and at the last we will return the head node. All right. So let me show you by debugging. So basically this is the first case where I want to delete the first node which is 12. So it will go here. It will check yes uh, the head of data is equal to data. So it will say okay head of next is not null right. 
so now do head of next dot previous null and then return head of next so if you see head of next this is basically 99 so earlier your head was 12 now your head is 99 right now let's say you want to delete the 37 so in this case what will happen i will show you by again debugging so in this case the head of data is not data so it will go ahead it will take a temporary variable not now while node is not null it will iterate the loop until node of node equals to node of next again it will check and here node of data is equal so it will break now if node is null no it's not null so it will check if node of next is null it is not so it will change the linking node of next dot previous equals to node of previous and node of previous dot next equal to node of next and at the last return head so if you see that here now you won't find 37 99 and then 5 right and in fact the previous of 5 is pointing to 99 so we have changed the linkings now let's say that you want to delete the last node so let me show you by doing this so here uh, basically the case is that it will go here and here that the node of next is null right so in this case it won't do this this statement and it will directly do node of previous dot next to node of next and at the last return that because if node of next is null then we need not to execute that statement and now that's it and now let's say if you want to delete the node which doesn't exist in the list so in this case what will happen that it will go here and it will keep on doing that until and at the last we will have the node equals to null so here the node equals to null so it will do element doesn't exist in the list and will simply return head which is the same link list so you can see in console it has print out element doesn't exist in the list right so that's it guys we have seen all the edge cases uh, how we can delete a particular node in a double link list and the complexity is big of n because at the worst we need to traverse the whole link list and uh, so that's it for this tutorial and in next tutorial we'll see that how we can delete a node at a particular position so let's say you want to delete the node at fourth position or at first position or at last position so we'll see that tutorial and if you have liked this video then please like it and subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you